My name is uh, Tom Sodland. I'm the CEO and executive producer at A Different Game. We're a small game studio based in Stockholm, Sweden. And can you tell me about Ghostwire? Well, Ghostwire is an augmented reality game that we've been developing for the last two, three years. It started as a mobile game and now we're do doing it for Nintendo DSi. So the game plays about finding and capturing and talking to a number of ghosts. It's sort of an adventure mystery game where every ghost has a problem that you need to solve. And you need, in order to do that, you need to talk to the ghost and talk to other ghosts and sort of uh, put the clues together and, and find a solution. Can you explain augmented reality? Well, augmented reality is when you sort of overlay a, a video feed or what you see through a camera with sort of uh, 3D objects or, or like fictional stuff. In, in Ghostwire, the fictional part is, is the ghosts, of course, but in, it could be um, that you overlay it with Twitter updates or overlay it with uh, information from an from a online map database or something. As you walk around in the streets, you could sort of see where uh, the, the name of a building or the, where your friends are and so on. Cool. Um, augmented reality, it's, it's definitely something that's really, really new. And when you look at developing for the variety of new technology that's coming out there, uh, tablets, where do you see tablets and MIDs kind of moving with the augmented reality space? Or do you see it at all? <laughs> well, we have um, we've thought a lot about uh, tablets. Uh, we haven't seen any particular game concept where we feel a larger, the larger screen of a tablet would, would would make a strong impact on, on the augmented reality part of the game. Uh, we have other Ghostwire related games for, for tablets. We've been thinking of a of sort of a Ouija board game where you would use your hand to sort of interact and talk to the, the paranormal world. Um, but uh, I, And I see a lot of other types of games that would really work well on tablets like strategy games where you have a map and you can sort of point and click and move your troops and stuff like that. Also casual games, card games, where the, the, the tactile element of the gameplay is really important. But for augmented reality, I'm, I'm more interested in sort of the smaller devices mm -hmm. because I think the smaller it becomes, the more agile the gameplay can, can be mm -hmm. and, and sort of more mobile and more mobile. And that's, that's I think, would be a main driver for augmented reality games. Cool, perfect. That's it.